this is um, poo in a state of evolution, we might say, embryonic poo, and because his nose is more pointed and his legs are thinner, and I got it from Shepherd's daughter, Mary. E. H. Shepherd, the great illustrator of A. A. Milne's stories. And she said that is poo evolving from the family Teddy, who was called Growler. Yes. So he's not quite the, the sort of the, the rotund, dumpy little poo that we all know and love the from the books. Off, yes, eating too he's, much. Because no. he's not quite there yet. And, and underneath, Tigger. A Tigger, <laughs> who is just sprung fully formed from the head of his creator, I think. You know, he just looks like Tigger looks, to me, Tigger looks in the book. Yes, I, and absolutely. Yeah. Now, I did slightly worry about the line of it because you see it's, it's rather loosely done um, compared to what we're used to, particularly when you look at the finished drawings in the books. Mm. But, uh, but it's quite possible that, um, and I've seen Shepherd drawings that are loose, that it's just, just a few thoughts going through his head, isn't it, on this, uh, on this sketchy piece of paper. Um, and he's got uh, this jar of honey as well. And you can see the, uh, uh, the Y of honey is not quite... I think the N is supposed to be the wrong way round, isn't it, with honey? Yes, yes. So they're not great on not spelling. Not quite got there yet, no. Um, now, the astonishing thing about a drawing like this is how just how very popular it can be. Mm. I don't know what it is, but particularly amongst Americans, it's like buying a piece of the charm of your own childhood back again. At least I assume that's what it must be, because they do pay the most astonishing sums for such things. Um, do you know uh, what it's worth at all, or have any idea? No, I don't, but it's different from being an actual illustration to the story. I see that. I, I think so. Um, now, the, the, the finished pen and ink drawings for Winnie the Pooh are recently, two of them, uh, separately achieved £60,000 plus premium. Mm. Uh, now, it's difficult to know where to put exactly to place this, this drawing in the structure of prices, but I think given that it is a working drawing, it's got to have an interest of its own as well. You know, it, I think it's going to add to its interest. Well, really, I think that we've got to put 10 to 15,000 pounds on this drawing. And given the level of interest in Pooh and E.H. Shepherd generally, I wouldn't be at all surprised if two American collectors fought each other and drove it a very much higher than that. <laughs>